Good morning. My name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Daily Devotional of November the 21st. I'm using assorted verses from Proverbs, and the title is Leadership. This is meditation number two. There are different government systems in the world. Simply put, there is the democratic system and the autocratic system. In the democratic system, all citizens vote, one vote per person, to elect the government leader. Many political parties can field their candidates. In the autocratic system, the head of state passes the leadership to his or her heir, or the government is formed by one party only, without opposing opinions. However, in the autocratic system, there may be a limitation in who can vote, rather than one vote per citizen. The candidates are pre-screened so that they will conform to the political views of the leader. Now, constitutional monarchy is yet another system. The crown of the monarch is passed from one leader to another blood relative. But the government is democratically elected, with Canada and Great Britain providing the examples. No system is perfect. For good leadership depends on the character and moral values of the one in government. Hopefully, he or she will have a heart that cares for the citizens like family. We have four subtopics. A. Authority comes from God. B. The governor must be righteous and just, rewarding the good while punishing the wicked. C. Leaders must be truthful and kind, and D. Leaders must protect the weaker members of society. Yesterday we dwelt on points A and B, and today we shall meditate on points C and D. Point C. Leaders must be truthful and kind. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 7 says, Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse, lying lips to a ruler. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 12, If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials become wicked. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 13, Kings take pleasure in honest lips. They value the one who speaks what is right. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 14, If a king judges the poor with fairness, his throne will be established forever. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 28. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love, his throne is made secure. The 42nd president of the United States, Bill Clinton, was named in a lawsuit in 1998 by Paula Jones for sexual harassment. During the pre-trial discovery in the lawsuit, Clinton denied in testimony that he had engaged in a sexual relationship with a White House intern, Monica Lewinsky. His testimony was later found to be a lie. Then this triggered the impeachment process from December 1998 to February 1999. The United States House of Representatives charged him for perjury and obstruction of justice. These two articles were enough to impeach him. When the trial reached the United States Senate, they were voted down. Therefore, Clinton remained the President of the United States until the end of his second term of office. By the moral values of the society of that time, when two consenting adults engaged in a sexual relationship, this might not lead to impeachment. But perjury and obstruction of justice were serious matters. One must be completely truthful while testifying at court. No lies. As the leader of a country, one shouldn't lie. In Western countries, being called a liar is shameful indeed. Then, how about enjoying listening to lies? If a leader loves to hear flatteries, his subordinates will undoubtedly be mostly wicked people. They twist their words and lie to please the leader. This is wickedness. This will not be good for the entire group. Rather, if a king desires to hear 
honest words, he will have the correct information with which to make proper decisions for his country. This will benefit all of his people. If a king can judge fairly, regardless of people being poor or rich, strong or weak, noble or peasant, his throne will be safe and secure. Love and faithfulness being truthful and kind are the necessary qualities of the leader. Leader must protect the weaker members of society, the last point. Proverbs 14 verse 31. Whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker, but whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Proverbs 17 verse 5. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Proverbs 22 verse 2. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. Proverbs 19 verse 17. Whoever is kind to the poor leads to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. Proverbs 22 verse 22 to 23. Do not exploit the poor because they are poor, and do not crush the needy in court. For the Lord will take up their case and will exact life for life. Why should we protect the weaker members of society? We're all created by God. The weaker members of society may be the poor, those who are born with disabilities, the mentally sick, people with long-term illnesses, etc., Whenever the poor seek justice in court, the judges and elders must judge fairly. If they mistreat the weak, God will take up their case and will reprimand the crooked judges and elders. If there are the merciful who lend to the poor, God will reward them for the good they have done. I especially appreciate the late Princess of Wales, Diana. When she was alive, she was not afraid of reaching out to the patients with AIDS. She visited them and warmly took, uh, shook their hands. Her action brought a great deal of comfort and encouragement to the patients. I also appreciate Mother Teresa, who started open-air classrooms for poor children in Calcutta, India. She found housing for the homeless and hospice for those dying with AIDS. She started a Catholic charitable organization that extends its ministries to many countries in the world. Diana and Mother Teresa were not political leaders, but they were leaders in their own way. The weaker members of society became noticed throughout the world due to their contribution. Let's recap the four Topics of leadership. A. Authority comes from God. B. The governor must be righteous and just, rewarding the poor while punishing the wicked. C. Leaders must be truthful and kind. And D. Leaders must protect the weaker members of society. What have I learned? Even though I am a nobody, God has put me in different positions. Wherever I am, I must treat every person and every business with righteousness and justice, regardless of people's walks of life. Every person is created by God, sharing in God's image, having eternal souls. God sees everyone as a treasure. As I look at my fellow humans with God's eyes, I know to imitate God's truthfulness kindness, and self-sacrifice. I also have the responsibility to protect the weak in society. I cannot shift the load away. May God help me to live his honorable and beautiful lifestyle to reflect the goodness of my Lord Jesus. Yes, be a good leader. We are all encouraged. Thank you for joining me and may God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.